What's up, booze? What it do? What it do? Welcome to April Nicole Tarot. I am your girl, April Nicole. And I am going to be doing a general read for the collective. Sorry, you all, that I have been MIA. Um, I took my cards with me to New Orleans last week, and I went for a girls' trip, and y'all, we was in them streets. I ain't even gonna lie to you. We was in the streets. I didn't, I, I, I ain't got no, you know, I ain't gonna lie to you, Virgo. I ain't gonna lie to you. Um, so now I am home. I am in Jamaica. So I have a lot of space and opportunity to do my readings for you all. I'm settled. Like This is my place of peace. I am just, I just feel really good. So 44 on the clock when I said that. Yes, stability. Yes, foundation, all of that. That is what Jamaica is to me. So I was like, yo, I got to do my boo some justice. And this is the, like the first bag I unpacked was my tarot bag. So here we are. All right. Um, so I've already um, prayed over the cards. I've already spoken to our ancestors and our spirit teams. Um, I've already pre-shuffled the cards. I'm going to shuffle again. And I'm going to go ahead and continue without further ado. So um, just want to get the general um, energy of the collective. And of course, we can build and we can clarify with the tarot. Um, what is going on with our booze? Mm. Okay, that came out. So the first card, when I said what's going on with our booze, beginning. Okay, movement. So some of you all could have been lying some golden eggs. I'm feeling like some of y'all could have been planning, you know, some shit. Um, laying eggs, you could have been ha having your hands in a lot of shit. Or you could just be nesting. You know what I mean? Some of you could be starting families. Um, you could be pregnant. Um, but there's a beginning on the horizon, I'm hearing. And you know, with these golden eggs, this is a good beginning. This isn't a bad beginning. This is something that is good. So beginning is saying it's it's a good time to start a new job or a new career. You have creative ideas that get noticed. Build a nest egg for the future, Okay. Your next card is movement, okay? Um, some of you all are like, like I'm, I'm feeling like you're ascending fast, you know? Like you're this beginning that you're having, it is a beginning, but it's like it's, it's moving you quickly, you know? So it's like some of you, you could not have a concept of time right now because shit is happening so quickly for you. You know, like a lot of these these golden eggs are hatching. You know, um, a lot of you are taking a lot of big steps towards something. I'm not seeing any obstacles or if there is obstacles. <laughs> look, this motherfucker leaping right over him. You know, this is a clear path for a lot of you. You have a new beginning and this new beginning, like I said, with the, these eggs being gold, this is a good beginning. And you have a clear path, you know, that's telling you go, go. And the shit is going to be quick. Thank you for these messages, Spirit. What else do we have for the collective? We have beginning and we have movement. What other messages do we have for the collective, for the booze listening in? Let me down some. What else do we have for the collective, please? As a service. Now, this deck, when I was pre shuffling, this thing was just okay. There we go. I was about to say, this thing was just coming all. I don't like putting cards right there because they cover up my, my camera. Hold on. Let me move these over. Okay. <sighs> Hmm. 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 Okay, so your first card is on the table, right? And this can mean, you know, it's time for you to put your demands on the table. It's time to like really advocate for yourself. It's time to assert yourself and really get serious about what the fuck you want. You know, um, Spirit is saying that it's time for you to put some shit on the table, yeah, and with this influence card, some of you all are big influencers, and I could be talking about social media, or I can just be talking about life period. I'm talking to someone who has a very big presence. 
a leader, you know, somebody who has the power to influence, you know, someone else, others, whatever, someone who has a very strong throat chakra. And when I say a very strong throat chakra, a lot of us have strong throat chakras and we don't even fucking know it because we've been so used to having it stifled. We've been so used to people telling us, well, you can't say that. It's not nice to da da da. You da 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 da. Fuck all of that. Okay? You have influence. And I feel like I'm talking to somebody who is not advocating for themselves, who's not using their influence to their highest good. You know, who's not putting that shit on the table about not only what their worth is, but baby, you got to pay me for my fucking work because I know you know. And with this authority in this short term together, I feel like some of you all, um, you're in a position right now where you're feeling either stifled by a boss. So it's a dominant figure. Short term and authority. You know, um, a challenge to your power. You know, um, you could be being triggered right now. Somebody's trying to get you to step out of character, I'm hearing. You know, but I feel like whatever this situation is with this short-term card, spirit is saying, baby, this too shall pass. Yeah, in the flow. The universe is sending you fucking help. You know, um, and this help can be in the form of you could have an ancestor who is a Pisces, a water sign, you know, um, or you could be a Pisces, a water sign, a very intuitive person. And spirit is saying for you to tap into your inner power and go deeper to create the purposeful life you really want to have. Okay, get in the flow. Some of you are out of alignment. Hmm. And you know what? I was just going to start with these just to get a general message. But Spirit is like, nope. You won't have to clarify these with the tarot. And that's cool. All right. This beginning. Spirit, can we get some more information on this beginning? What is beginning for the collective? It's a good time to start a new job or a whole new career. You have creative ideas that get you noticed. Build a nest for the future. Can we get some? Mm, okay. Ah, King of Swords in reverse. Mm. Four of Cups. Upright. So with this beginning, having this beginning clarified with this King of Swords in reverse, I'm feeling like Somebody wants a new beginning with you. Yeah. Somebody, I feel like for some of you, someone wants this new beginning with you. Somebody that you've cut off. Somebody who does not have access to your energy right now. And with this being king, a king of swords, um, this can be an air sign. You know, um, Aquarius, Gemini, or a um, Libra. Forgive me. This could be um, a masculine who you've cut off. You know, or or just somebody embodying um, the characteristics, you know, um, of someone who, ugh, this King of Swords in reverse, I don't like this, you know. But I feel like with this Four of, of Cups, um, this person is fucked up that they can't have a new beginning with you. You know, it really bothers this person that you won't allow them to turn back the hands of time. It really fucks them up. If they are talking to other people, they not you. And I'm not even saying this to shit to say this. First of all, that's not me. But with this Four of Cups, Four of Cups energy also talks about not being content, being bored, not being happy with what is being offered to you. So this can also be you. You're, you, you're not content with this motherfucker no more. You know, um, you're bored with this. You've moved on, I'm hearing. You're in a beginning period. You're in a new chapter. Some of y'all are in a brand new fucking book. And you just don't align with this bullshit. This shit is just a disappointment to where you're going and who you are. Bottom of the deck energy. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is working hard to get you. But you've done a lot of hard work to get the fuck away from them. With the Seven of Pentacles energy. Hmm. Hmm. 
I want to talk about this beginning more, though. What else with this new beginning, Spirit? Or with this beginning? Yeah, Spirit is saying you need to start over. What is this? Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is new collaborations. This is new partnerships. You see this, 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 this fresh plant, this baby plant? This is a new beginning, baby. This is you. So Spirit is saying that whatever the fuck you didn't cut off need to stay fucking cut off. Because you have new people coming in. You have a new team of friends, I'm hearing. A new team of motherfuckers that got your back, that want to be in your corner, that want to help you, not just take from you. I'm hearing reciprocity. You have a new beginning. Yeah, I knew it was something else Spirit was trying to tell me. Your life is coming together. For a lot of y'all, you've been through hell and fucking hot water. Your life is finally coming together. Spirit is, is you, you've moved all the shit out of the way so that spirit can step in and collaborate with you and get you back on your journey. So please listen to me. Lend me your motherfucking ear. Whatever this energy is that's trying to come back, you know, that's trying to uh, 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 stutter step back into your life, whatever the fuck you didn't cut off, please have them fucking stay cut off. Because you are moving forward. You are moving forward. You have movement, baby, not stagnation. Okay. Let's clarify movement. Clarify movement, spirit, please. The world. Mm. Baby, the world card, that's about ending cycles. That's about completions. You know, that's about evolving. That's an evolution. You know what I mean? This is about fulfilling something. Either karmic debt, either a lesson. I don't fucking know. But you have movement because you have closed some chapters and some cycles. You have ended some shit. You have moved the fuck on. Yeah. What else was movement? Spirit. What else we got? Oh. <laughs> Eight of Wands is fucking movement. That's backing it up. A lot of y'all, y'all moving. Life is picking up for y'all. A lot of y'all are about to see fucking leaps and bounds, strides. Y'all got shit coming. I'm here and coming in hot. Coming in hot. This is y'all. Eight of Wands is about fast movement. Progress. Change. You could have been seeing five, five, fives a lot. You could even be seeing eight, eight, eights a lot. You know, but shit is happening. You know what I mean? Decisions are being made. Baby, you hot like fire. You is hot like fucking fire. Matter of fact, that might even be what I named this. One second, y'all. Baby. You is hot like fire. Okay? Fire see that. Yeah, you is hot like fire. I'm fucking hearing. Eight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you could be seeing 888s. And when I said that 1333 came on, 333. Eight, eight, eights or five, five, fives. Eight of Pentacles is that motherfucking abundance. It's about that money coming in. Y'all got bags coming in. Y'all got prosperity coming in. You know, this is about you being committed to your work, putting in that fucking effort, you reaping what you have been sowing. You know, you accomplishing shit. And look at that. That's some more shit coming. More Is that a plant coming out the earth? No, that's a butterfly. That is a plant. But that is a butterfly. Changes, transformation. Caterpillar to the fucking butterfly, I'm hearing. You coming out of that motherfucking adversity. You coming out of the motherfucking, the shadows, the fuckery. You know what I mean? The bullshit. Every time, ooh. Well, let me shut my ass up and see what the fuck this is. Because, yeah. Yeah, you coming out of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, you coming out of a lot of shit. Let's, let's, let's talk about it. it, which, it, it spirits say you moving out of a lot of stuff. So let's talk about what you moving out of. 
Page of Wands energy. Oh, shit. <laughs> Page of Wands energy. This is fire energy. So, Page of Wands um, talks about... <laughs> Uh, I like to say page of wands, especially, mm, no, wait a minute, let me keep these over here, because I think this page of wands goes with this world, this eight of pentacles, and this eight of wands, yeah, this is you, this page of wands, this is you having a new lease on life, yeah, this is you having fresh ideas, this is you... I feel like with a lot of you, you could be feeling like a spark of creativity. You could be feeling like motivated, especially during this, because we're in Virgo season. Shout out to my Virgos. You know, Virgos is about getting shit done. I feel like some of you are in a, a energy where you're feeling fearless. You know, you're feeling fresh. You got... You, you, your mind is on your money. Your money is on your fucking mind. You're going, you're going out there. You're getting what the fuck you want. You're moving towards your passion. Okay, now let me look at these motherfuckers over here. So now, all right, y'all. We got the devil card. And the devil came out when I was shuffling. The devil card, this is Capricorn energy. This speaks to anxiety. You know, having an obsession, codependency, um, bad habits, um, addictions, um, soul ties. And this could be something that you are moving out of. A lot of you all are moving away from toxicity, soul ties. Like I said, with karmic debt, karmic connections, you're moving away from this. You know, you're moving out of this. You could be moving away from... Uh, a toxic ass fucking Capricorn. Take it as it resonates. You know, I just work here. I tell y'all that all the time. You know, you're moving away from conflict with this five of wands. You know, motherfuckers who you think is your friend who really ain't. Motherfuckers in secret conflict and competition with you. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers with, with secret aggression towards you. You know, rivals. You know, shit like that. Uh, a cattiness. Um, arguments and shit like that. You could have been arguing with this toxic ass motherfucker or these toxic ass motherfuckers that you got out of your life. But yeah, that's five of wands. This motherfucker's trying to sink your fucking ship. This is motherfuckers trying to trying to wreck your fucking ship. You know, and this is motherfuckers that you moved away from. You know, two of pentacles, two of pentacles energy. This talks about balancing. Um, this talks about juggling. You know, somebody could have had you juggled. You know, you could have been dealing with somebody, especially with this king of swords in reverse that was juggling you or somebody else. Or this could also be you juggling a lot of shit in your fucking hands that did not belong to you. You carrying a lot of motherfuckers. You, you, with this, with this two of pinnacle energy, I'm hearing that a lot of y'all was giving out money hand over motherfucking fist. You know, particularly to motherfuckers that didn't mean you no fucking good. You know, nine, hermit. The hermit card, that's Virgo energy. So I could be talking to a Virgo. Like I said, we are in Virgo season. Me, myself, I am a Virgo sun and a Virgo mercury. Virgo season, every year, I come home to Jamaica. I get away. You know, I, 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 I embrace my fucking energy. You know, if I could show you my table, I got books all over. I got notebooks all over. The hermit energy talks about self-reflecting, going inward. You know what I mean? Withdrawing, you know, withdrawing your energy from shit so that you can pour your energy into yourself. You know, isolating yourself to get wisdom. You know, if you're soul searching, you know, because Virgo is always learning. Virgo is always seeking. So some of you could have been forced, not forced, but put into a, um, a energy of, you know, you could have been hurt real bad. And like, I, I, I'm taking some time for myself. And I feel like that's what a lot of y'all are doing. A lot of y'all are, 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 are cutting off a lot of motherfuckers that's been biting your fucking hand that's been feeding them. I'm just going to say it. They've they been biting your fucking hand and you out here fucking feeding them. And you like, nah, uh-uh, because -uh, that's another thing about a Virgo. Once we, once we done with you, we done with you. It's, and it's like you dead. We, we, we either you. You dead. You know? And especially with this emperor 
coming up next. The Emperor, which is Aries energy. This is an authoritative motherfucker. The Emperor don't play no fucking games, baby. The Emperor ain't with the bullshit, baby. You can tell I just came back from New Orleans. Okay? This is somebody who is in control of themselves. Control of their destiny. Somebody who is disciplined. Somebody who is protected. A lot of you all are stepping into your your emperor energy that's what you are moving towards okay now let's talk about this shit you got the death card i love the death card i'm i'm 9 13 i was born september 13th maybe that's why because it ain't nothing for me to cut a motherfucker off and start over i love the death card so with this death right here Next to this Ten of Swords, a lot of y'all and your spirit team have put to death the very motherfuckers that's been stabbing you in your fucking back. You know, um, the betrayals. You know, um, the shit. A lot of you feel like your world is falling apart. I'm hearing a lot of y'all are feeling like, damn, I done lost another friend. Damn, you too, Ed too, Brutus. You know, you on that bullshit too. And spirit is like, yeah, we had to clear everybody out. I'm hearing a lot of y'all weren't falling out or finding out that you had a, a, a knife in your back from one person. This is multiple people. And, and there was a lot of people with this Hierophant energy. This Hierophant energy. This is connection. This is a ascended connection. You know what I mean? With Hierophant energy, um, this is Taurus energy. Excuse me. But um, this is, you've been fucking dealing with or you've been having the, the backstabbing from motherfuckers that I'm hearing you was locked in with. Look at that ring. You was locked in with these motherfuckers. And they was just backstabbing and betraying you. But Spirit is saying, it's cool because we cleared them on out. We cleared they ass the fuck on out. As Spirit should have. Now let's get to influence. Let's get to this influence card. And while I see this microphone, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling this is y'all's voice. I'm talking to somebody who has a very powerful voice, somebody who has a defined throat chakra and somebody who probably has been conditioned not to use it. Okay. Oh, I did not have to slam that back down like that. I'm sorry. Okay. We got some reversals. Yeah, baby. Wheel of fortune, which is good. But then we have the nine, the, the nine. We have the sun, okay, and seven of pentacles in reverse. So when we talk about the wheel of fortune, the wheel of fortune is a good card because when we think of the wheel of fortune and we spin it, we're spinning it for good luck. We're moving forward. We're not spinning it backwards. We're spinning it, you know, forward. So the wheel of fortune card, it talks about um, having good luck. It talks about fortune. It talks about fate. You know, it also talks about how the wheels turn in our favor, how we come out of one cycle where we may be down to now we're in another cycle where we are up, right? But now you have the sun in reverse and the seven of pentacles in reverse. So I'm feeling like that's what, that's what the tides are turning on, especially when it comes to your influence, right? Because when I see the sun in reverse... Sun in reverse to me, that's depression. You know, that's that's being unhappy. That is a period where, you know, when the sun doesn't come out, you're down. You, you know, it, it's a gloomy day. You know, you're you're looking out to see if it's rain. It's dark. It's darkness. You know, that's that's the sun in reverse. You know, you're not able to achieve shit. You're not able to have success when the sun doesn't come out. Um, the crops don't get to bloom. They don't get to grow. They die out, you know, so nothing is able to be abundant. Nothing is able, um, to live, you know, to have luck, to have success. And, you know, no matter with the seven of pentacles, this seven of pentacles talks about hard work, working hard, you know? So no matter what type of hard work you done done, whatever work you didn't put into shit, the sun is like, nah, uh, -uh we turning that shit upside down. I'm not dealing with it. And I feel like for a lot of you all with this wheel of fortune, you're coming out of this period. This period where your voice didn't matter. You weren't given the spotlight to speak. 
you weren't giving the opportunity to really show your influence. And I feel like a lot of you all are moving away from circles, exchanges, situations, people, whatever, where you were not able to shine your light. Where you were not able to really walk into your fucking power. A lot of you all have been entertaining people that have had you operating at half mass. And baby, we all do. We don't feel bad. Welcome back. We've been expecting you. Okay? And now, look. With this, especially with this influence, it's only one microphone. This ain't no fucking duet. This ain't no, no, no motherfucking temptations with them five motherfucking, uh... Uh, uh, microphones that would extend out. This is one mic. This is Nas, another fucking uh, Virgo. All I need is one mic. That's what I heard. It's you, baby. The spotlight is on you. Y-E-W, the spotlight is on you. Use your fucking influence because the spotlight is on you and the tides are turning. The wheel is turning in your favor. A lot of you all are coming out of a period of complacency. Now let's talk about this on the table card because what the fuck we got to put on the table? Okay, spirit. Oh. The Empress in reverse. The Empress in reverse talks about um, another thing with the sun in reverse. Not being able to fulfill you know, whatever seeds you want to sow, not being abundant, you know, um, what's this? <clears throat> oh, shit. We got too many reversals, y'all. Hold on. So now we got the two of wands. So this is on the table. So the first card was the Empress in reverse. And my Empress card, I could be talking to um, an Earth sign, a uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Virgo is very heavy in this, um, in this energy, especially with this Hermit card. But I could be talking to any sign. Take it as it resonates. Um, we have Two of Wands, we have Five of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Cups. Hmm. And we also have the Eight of Cups in reverse. Hmm. So on the table, the Empress, so with this Empress energy, I'm feeling like with a lot of you, you, a lot of y'all don't understand y'all worth because that's also the Empress in reverse, particularly if I'm talking to um, an earth sign or even a Virgo because Virgo can be, uh, earth signs period, but Virgo especially are very self-sacrificing you know, so that I can be talking to someone who has been a very self-sacrificing individual, you know, um, I feel like with this two of wands energy, though, especially with this movement, I feel like you're coming out of that, though. I'm feeling like a lot of y'all are taking risks, especially with this movement card and with this beginning you're in a whole new space, I'm hearing. You know, um, you have a new lease on life. You know, you're, 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 I feel like a lot of you are in your planning stage. You know, like, yo, I, this is what I'm trying to manifest. This is what I'm trying to bring to fruition, you know. And to do that, you got to leave some shit out in the cold, you know. Five of Pentacles talks about loss, being left out in the cold, feeling abandoned, you know, struggling, you know, being on the outside looking in. And that can also be you all being on the outside looking in, um, always watching people be happy, but not putting your demands on the table, not thinking that happiness can happen for you, not thinking that good shit can happen for you. You know, you, you, you always feeling like you've been left in the fucking cold. God, I feel a lot of um, Virgo energy on um, this reading. And, and it's not just because I'm a Virgo. I, I'm, You know, I call it. A lot of times um, I'll call and say uh, what I feel a lot of energy of. Um, for a while, it was Sagittarius. Sagittarius stayed in the goddamn reading. Sag and Aries. But yeah, I feel a lot of Virgo, a lot of Earth energy in here. Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups talks about satisfaction. You know, having your wish granted. Having your wish fulfilled, you know, being successful, receiving um, success, you know, um, but you also have this eight of cups in reverse. And with this eight of cups, it's telling me 
Um, well, the Eight of Cups upright talks about moving on, moving away, transitioning, um, walking away from something, you know, particularly, you know, abruptly, um, you know, uh, unexpectedly or whatever. But this Eight of Cups is in reverse. And I feel like because you have... You have the three, you have the three. I don't know why I want to keep calling them what they are. You have the Empress in reverse, two of wands upright, five of pentacles upright. And then you have the nine of cups upright and the eight of cups um, in reverse. Yeah, this is reverse. So I feel like... Hmm. I feel like for a lot of you, a lot of you know, a lot of you know what you need to be putting on the table. A lot of you know or understand that a lot of situations that leave you out in the cold, that a lot of situations that are not for your highest good, that a lot of situations that have you on the outside looking in are not fucking good for you, are not fucking right for you. You know, and they block you from your satisfaction. They block you from your happiness. They block you from finally getting fulfilled, you know. Um, and I feel like instead of you all putting the shit on the table and either setting the boundary or either just cutting the motherfucker off, it's like something is stopping you from walking away with this Eight of Cups um, in reverse. Because Eight of Cups in reverse is not just walking away. This is cup energy. This is removing your cup. And cup energy is emotions. You know, the, cup are, the cups are our um, water signs in the deck. Okay, so this person that you're dealing with could be a water sign. You know, they could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be you. I don't know. It could be placements. Take the shit as it resonates. But something about this person, I'm feeling like an emotional tugging where it's like, no, I can't walk away. And I just, it's just really upsetting me. It's, accepting, it's, it's, it's upsetting me in your spirit team. So what the hell going on, spirit? Like, what is, can we, can we talk about this? What is, what is preventing my boo from walking the fuck away from putting they shit on the fucking table you know mm. you got ace of pentacles and queen of cups so ace of pentacles is a beautiful card Ace of Pentacles, I always feel like that's a gift from your ancestors because in the tarot deck, you see it as a hand coming out of the clouds with a coin on it. Like your spirit team is saying, here you go, baby. I love Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles talks about new opportunities, prosperity, abundance, manifesting, having stabi stability, um, an offer, you know, um wealth and fertility and then we have this queen of cups and queen of cups talks about being compassionate you know that's also um water sign energy which again is pisces scorpio or cancer but this is someone who is an uh, loves unconditionally giving supportive warmth and soothing and i feel like for some of you what could be happening Especially if we're dealing with, and look at these fish in here. Fish could be speaking to a Pisces or about a Pisces. Because um, it's a lot of energy here. Was stopping you all or stopping some of you from walking away and finally removing your love, your cup, whatever. Is this person keeps, um, this person keeps giving you hoop dreams about a new beginning and how shit is going to be better. Or this person don't even have to be giving you the shit. You could be giving yourself that. You could be telling yourself, oh, well, um, things will be better this time. You know, um, it, 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 it's not going to be as bad as next time. Or you could even be putting your shit on the table with this person. And they're like, oh, no, you know, let me offer you this. Let me offer you. Well, what if I did this? Well, I promise I'm going to do this. So don't leave me. Or I promise I'm going to do. Man, fuck all that shit. You feel me? Oh, mm -hmm. sorry, y'all. They outside cutting grass.
I don't know if that did nothing, but I closed my patio. Okay. Yeah, so let's talk about this short term and authority. Right? Short term and authority. What do we got for short term and authority, Spirit? Okay. Baby, y'all in these reversals. Seven of Cups um, in reverse and Seven of Wands in reverse. Hmm. Hmm. Seven of Cups talks about having a lot of choices. You know, searching for a purpose. It can talk about illusion, shit that's really not what it seems to be. Um, offers that really ain't what they seem to be. Um, shit like that. Seven of Wands um, talks about standing up for yourself, standing your ground, having protection, setting boundaries, um, shit like this. And I feel like um, with the short term and this authority, some of you all are in a period where you have to wait. You know, where you, you may not have a lot of offers, you know, um, but for some of you, you could be coming out of a period of being disillusioned. But the strongest pull that I'm getting about this is some of you are dealing with an authoritative figure. I don't know. It could be a boss, a parent, a spouse, sibling. I don't know. Some type of relationship, working, personal. I don't fucking know. Um where you feel like, you know, they've cut off your choices, your right to choose. You could feel like, you know, powerless in something with this Seven of Cups in reverse. And with the Seven of Wands in reverse, you may feel as though, especially with this being an authority, you cannot defend yourself the way that um, you want to. You kind of have to grin and bear, you know, something. I don't know. It could be a situation at work. I don't know if you got rolled up. You know, somebody riding your motherfucking coattails. I mean, not riding your coattails like trying to take from you, but trying to motherfucking, um, you know, get you fucked up. Maybe a paper trail or some shit like that. Spirit is saying this shit is short term. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers could be gossiping about you with this page of swords and fucking rewind and in reverse. Excuse me. Um... Yeah, somebody could be curious about you. Somebody could be nosy about you, gossiping about you. You know, I keep thinking of work, the workplace. Some of you all could be in some type of workplace fucking gossip. I don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're sleeping with somebody at the job. If you are, Lord have mercy. This is a judgment-free zone. Um, Six of Cups and the King of Cups just fell out. Hmm. I'm not going to take it. But yeah, I feel like some of you all are in a situation where motherfuckers are in your fucking business. You feel powerless. You know, people could be gossiping about you. People could be nosy. Take this as it resonates. This is not for everybody. And you're feeling really restricted. Like you can't exercise your autonomy the way you want to. You know? But Spirit is saying, baby, this is only short term. This too shall pass. And not only is it going to pass, but you want to come out on top. Now, let's talk about this into the flow. Okay? So, wow, yeah, the universe is sending you help. You know, um, whatever it is that you are up against, whoever it is you are up against, they're not as big as the help that's being sent to you. Six of Swords. Yeah, with this in the flow. And the Six of Swords talks about leaving behind conflict, moving on, distancing yourself. You know, I, I may accept the lesson. You know what I mean? I understand, you know, no problem. Let me go ahead and turn my back. And if you've watched my channel enough, you know that I always like in the Six of Swords to your ancestors leading you from something. Your ancestors just coming on into, come on, baby, let's go. And you see it's at the still of the night and you see with the moon right there, the moon talks about intuition, the hidden shit that we can't see and i feel like for a lot of you you're in this situation where it could feel like you feel powerless you could feel this shit is fucked up and blah 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 and wah 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 and spirit is like baby just chill get in the flow of it because i'm leading you away from the bullshit it's temporary just give me just give me some time to work my mojo to work my magic okay what else do we god damn it 
Yeah, temperance. Talks about patience. There's also Sagittarius energy. Okay, this talks about peace, being calm, you know, being tranquil, you know, getting into the flow, you know, just chilling out, cooling the fuck out. You know, the star, the star card, this is Aquarius energy. The star card is about healing, you know, having faith. You know what I mean? Having inspiration, you know, leaning into the truth. Okay. Yes. Five of sword energy. It's a lot of, um, I feel like it's, it's, it's a lot of gossiping, a lot of chatty, 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 a chatty, chatty, patty. Um, and a lot of arguments, a lot of aggression. I'm feeling a lot of um, mental stress for you. You know, I'm just feeling just a lot of mental conflict, you know, but spirit is saying that with the six of wands energy, baby, you're going to be victorious. I'm telling you, you got beginning, you got movement on the tape, like you're going to be victorious. Whatever little um, fucked up spot you're in right now, this too shall pass. Six of wands talks about victory winning coming out on top and when i see six, six of wands i always think about you being recognized by your ancestors and your spirit team by not folding they see you ain't fold they see you fucking leveled up they see you ascended they see you could handle that motherfucking lesson okay and baby with this queen of swords queen of swords i love a queen of swords queen of swords is an ice cold ass motherfucker Queen of Swords, this is air energy. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, take it as it resonates. This person like to get straight to the point. This person don't mince no motherfucking words. This person tells it like it fucking is. This person speaks the fucking truth. Okay, they don't take shit from nobody. Okay, they're honest. They're direct. And with the Queen of Swords, because she always got a sword, she don't fucking care about cutting a motherfucker off. And I feel like for you all, you stepping into your Queen of Swords energy, you um, stepping into the truth, um, you stepping into being straight to the point, being ice cold, setting your motherfucking boundaries, doing everything that you have to do. It's this moon energy. You're going to have a lot of shit revealed to you. The moon card, this is our cancer card. And like I said, with the moon energy, um, this talks about shit that's hidden, shit that's um, obscure, secrets, you know, things that we need to caution for. And remember when I first opened up this in the flow, what was it? The six of wands. You're being guided by the moon. You're being guided by your intuition. Okay? <sighs> Let's do a, a oracle card and then we will close out. This is a pretty good reading, you all. Really proud of you. Okay? Y'all got this. Thank you for these messages, Spirit. Can we close out with an oracle message for the collective? Can we close out with an oracle message? for the collective the anointed answer the call i'm telling you i'm talking to a powerful influencer somebody who was sent here to lead okay answer the call this talks about leadership. This talks about empowerment. This talks about tapping into your soul gifts. You are anointed, baby. Spirit is saying that you are anointed, okay? Spirit is also telling you that healing is happening, okay? You are not broken. Trust the process. It's safe to soften. I picked that up over here on the In the Flow. You know, go with the flow. This is temporary. This is short-term. Whatever it is you're dealing with, Whatever it is you're healing from, whatever conflict, mental conflict, you know, motherfuckers hating on you, motherfuckers trying to be a, be on a downfall and shit like that, it's temporary, I'm hearing. And a lot of you all are healing your mother line. A lot of you all, some of this conflict can be with your mama. A lot of this conflict can be with family. You know, but a lot of you are restoring your bloodline. You are healing. You're doing ancestral work, particularly in your mother line, and you're growing up. You're healing. Okay? Last is held. You're healing and you are held, baby. This is beautiful. Okay? You have unseen help. You have support. You have a community. I'm telling you, y'all ancestors is on fucking deck, baby. You are held. You are provided for. Yes, you are healing, 
But you ain't 444 on the clock when I said that. Yes, you 44444. Yes, you are healing, but you are not falling. You are not unprotected. Okay, you are healing with protection. And baby, you have a really big life cut out for you. You are an influencer. Okay? You you have a voice. Okay? It's time to get hot on that shit. You hear me? It's time to get hot on your voice. It's time to get hot on your influence. Okay? You done gone through the backstab and you I, I know. I felt it in um this reading. Y'all done been through some shit. But y'all didn't close the cycle. You know, y'all had to kill that bond so it could stay killed. For some of you who could be, you know, dealing with some betrayal that could have um, been like large scale. Like, damn, where the fuck did that come from? Spirit wants me to tell you this. Sometimes when people fuck us over, they do fucked up shit to us and it's not too bad. It opens that door or it leaves the door open for reconciliation. It leaves the door open. Well, it wasn't that bad. I can forgive or maybe I just need some time and da 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 da. But when a person, when the universe allows a person to really fucking do some crazy shit, like some heinous shit that's like, what the fuck? It's for a reason. It's to permanently sever that tie. With no chance of a reconciliation. A person to have you so fucked up that it's like, I don't want shit to do with you. So you can finally cut that fucking cord. And for a lot of y'all, yeah, y'all y'all had some, some stabs and then fucking back. Some stabs and some twists and some turns and some, yeah, I know. But it needed to be that way. You needed to feel that shit. So you wouldn't introduce or invite that person back into your fucking life. Okay? Now, you got movement. I, I ain't pulled no motherfucking card that said go back. I ain't pulled no motherfucking card that said circle the block. I ain't, I didn't pull no motherfucking card that said reunited and it feels so good. I didn't pull none of that. I pulled moving forward. Forward. Movement. That's what you need to be doing. Nothing else from the past. If you in some shit right now, it's temporary. If you dealing with some shit, especially a motherfucker that got you fucked up, but you can't really do a lot of maneuvering, spirits say, you don't need to do the maneuvering. I'm making you stay still because I'm a maneuver this motherfucker. You can't move like I move. Okay? This my time, y'all. I'm going to let this go. Until next time. Thank you for tuning in to April Nicole Tarot. I will put all my information below if you want to reach me off of um, YouTube. If you want to hit me up on my social media. Um, if you want to donate to my tip jar, I will leave all of that information below as well. Thank you all so much for your support. Thank y'all for y'all likes, y'all shares, y'all comments, the word of mouth. Just everything. I really appreciate you all so much. And until next time, see you then.